I actually feel sorry for the French. I do. Because yeah, I've lost it, haven't I? <laughs> I've completely lost it. I've lost it <laughs> completely, haven't I? Yeah. For instance, they call a swimming pool a pissing. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not getting in there. There's no need to be so honest, is there? <laughs> Something we've all done once. The point is this. <laughs> disgusting. No, they've lost it, didn't they? Now, the reason for this is the French like to ask too many questions. Now, we don't like to ask questions in this country, do we, Andy? Eh? Do we? Jess? No. Do we? Chris? No. Do we? Mike? No. Do we? <laughs> no. <laughs> We don't like to ask questions in this country, but the French are mad for questions. They're always asking questions, the French. That's all it is, French, isn't it? A load of fucking questions, yeah? With a qu'est-ce que ça, and a qu'est-ce que c'est que ça, and a comment t'appelles tu, and a quel âge as tu, and a quel temps fait-il, and a quel heure est-il, and a où est la gare, and a combien pour de billets, and a six billets. Puis avoir un pain de chocolat et deux baguettes, et du jambon, et du jambon aussi, hein? Et du beurre, oh, j'ai oublié du beurre, oh, et ça, et euh, je suis homosexuel, et vous homosexuel aussi. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir les... Pour les fucking questions <laughs> It's a madhouse <laughs> It's a madhouse They eat frogs, snails and horses. <laughs> disgusting, isn't it, eh? No wonder the asylum seekers aren't stopping in France. <laughs> Over here taking our beggars' jobs. <laughs> if anyone's going to be homeless in this country, it's going to be British people first. <laughs> this rate, we're going to have to build extra bridges for them to live under. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have the finest poor people in the world, don't we? <laughs> Equipped with Sky Digital. That's right. <laughs> Back off. But the French have lost it, haven't they? I mean, that Eiffel Tower, eh? Hey? You ever been up the Eiffel Tower, Jeremy? I have. You have, haven't you? What was the view like? It's OK. It's OK? <laughs> no, mate, it was of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> if I could see London from the top of that thing, I'd be impressed. <laughs> As it is, it's a tragic waste of fucking Meccano. <laughs> As a result, French children have nothing to play with except themselves. <laughs> That's how it starts, isn't it, Hecky? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> no, they've lost it. For instance, when a French bloke's in trouble, right? when a French bloke's in mortal danger, trust me, I've tested this, he... He doesn't do what you or I would do, Andy, does he? No, when a French bloke's in trouble, he does something very strange. Something very peculiar, something that suggests to me he doesn't really want to be rescued at all. Right? He's French, he probably wants it over with. The point is this, when a French bloke's in trouble, he doesn't do what you and I would do, he doesn't shout out help, does he? The international word for help. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it comes from the English word help, <laughs> meaning help, <laughs> used in times of stress requiring help. No! What does he do? He does something very odd, very different. He goes like this, he goes, Oh, the car! Oh, the car! <laughs> and as a result, no one steps forward to rescue him. <laughs> well, I'm not going to, I've no idea what he's on about. <laughs> <coughs> no, they've lost it, haven't they? They've completely fucking lost it. They've got a town called Brest. <laughs> and none of them think it's funny. 